Hey y'all, and welcome back to the World History Project. I'm Wood Boyles. Last week, we established that we are a part of history. We determined that we need more than a single story to get a better sense of the bigger picture. And we looked at the three historical lenses in which you can view history. These are community, networks, and production distribution. This week, we're looking at how all the other subjects you're learning in school go into the making of history. We'll also explore why many humans made the shift from foraging to farming and whether or not it was a good idea. And finally, we'll talk about how historians structure time in order to tell stories about the past through processes like periodization and chronology. Our driving question for the day is why should we begin a human history course before humans even existed? Well, in order to gain a better understanding of who we are and where we came from, this is exactly what we need to do. Historians rely on written records, think about the Code of Hammurabi, to give us the story of a certain event or time period. Without these written records, we have to rely on other disciplines like science or math to fill in the blanks. Take, for instance, fossil fuels. Oil, natural gas, and coal were all once living organisms that decayed millions of years ago. But now, I'm running my car on those very things. We have no written record of how these things evolved or changed, but we know they are affecting our daily lives today. The story of humans is continuously shaped by outside forces. The environment, climate change, and disease are all examples of this. Humans developed with our environment and other species around us. The species that make us sick are constantly evolving. As we develop defenses to them, they mutate and keep finding ways to use us as hosts for the disease they can share. Our word of the day is big history. Big history is the story of the universe and uses evidence from many disciplines to better understand the story of humans. So I want you to watch the video Era One Overview. And as you watch, Think about our relationship to the environment and how it shapes our way of life. I like how in the video, they talked about how humans aren't the only actors in our past. Grain, bacteria, and even pigeons play a role. In your historian's journal, I want you to write about this. How might COVID-19 be viewed as shaping history despite the fact that the virus itself isn't human? Think about how a big history approach might help us answer the question and who we might call on as experts in other fields like science and sociology. The way we interact and socialize is affecting this pandemic. Tomorrow, we will look at foraging and how our switch to farming may have played a role in the spread of this virus. Be safe, make good decisions, and I'll catch you later.